Okay, so the question was um, getting the equations of each of these lines. So for this first one, let me do point slope form, and then um, I'm going to show you another way of looking at it for the second one, and you could do either of these either way. So for point slope form, um, let's find our point. Um, I'm going to pick that one arbitrarily, so my point's going to be negative 2, 0. And then for the slope, um, I think that's where you might have had a little trouble. So slope is rise over run. And so our um, run in this case is 1, and our rise is negative 2, because um, it's going downhill, so it's dropping 2. So run was 1, goes over 1, and then down 2, so negative 2. So our slope is negative 2. Um, and now put these together in here. So here we'd have y minus 0. Okay, so that just would be drops out equals m negative 2. And then x minus negative 2 would be plus 2 right there. And then just cleaning that up, we would have y equals negative 2x and minus 4 um, is how that should come out. So another way of doing that same thing is once you recognize the slope is um, negative 2 over 1 down 2 from this point you can just go over 1 down 2 over 1 down 2 and read off the graph that your y-intercept is right get, is going to be right there at negative 4 um, and then just go directly to here without the algebra um, so that's how I'll actually do this one for this line and so we'd have the it's set up between 1 and 6 with the equals on 6 and equals on the 1 um, I'm just going to trace back, and I can see that it's going to intersect there at negative 3. So instead of doing point slope, I'm going to just go straight to y equals mx plus b. Um, and I can see my slope is going over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1. So that m would just be an invisible 1. I'll write it as visible here for a second. And then, this, like I said, the intercept right there is negative 3. So that would just be y equals x minus 3. Um, so I think this is a lot easier. I, I make lots of little arithmetic errors. So I do better if I do this way. Um, but sometimes if this doesn't like intersect at a nice easy point to read, you know, say it was negative 3 and a third um, or negative 10 thirds, that you'd probably end up having to find algebraically. Um, so it's good to have a couple of tools, but this one's easier when you can use it.